Hello, YouTube. Hi, camera. Lady, boy, and girl, baby, they're watching this video right now. Um, this is 2007, 2006, 2007 Corolla. And this model here is, I believe, starting from an 04 all the way to, I don't know, 11? They say making noise when you drive in the higher speed and hump make noise so they don't know what it is they, they change the low ball joint and still doesn't solve the problem but let's go test drive to see what's up you know what buckle up first i'm safe let's go engine light too look at that that starting louder and louder when I'm hitting about 35 40 but let's go and drive more it sounds like coming from the driver's side I'm not sure if from this side or from this side from here but let's go drive some more and doing steering yank it for this way I can catch up with the sounds coming from. Yep. I hear from the driver's eye. Louder and louder now. See that? If I turn to left, I can hear more noise. See that? See that? It is. It is the driver's side. See that? Let me do a little bit faster. See that? If I turn my steering wheel to the left, I can hear more. <coughs> See that? So definitely, I think that is the driver's side bearing but to clarify on that let's go take the axle out and spin it by hand to see if that what it is so many times we test the bearing to see if you have any play and uh, after you test dry you know you're not sure what it is but mostly case you will come to push Torch the car and the back wheel here. Okay, the back wheel here. Pull torch you and keep play to see if any play on it. But mostly, case you won't hear any play because it's not a lot of play and you cannot really tell where it's coming from. So, the only way to tell where it's coming from is taking the axle out and spinning freely just the bearing by itself without the uh, without the rotor without the uh, uh, clopper brake clopper on it okay So I'm gonna prime my clubber open a little bit. So when I take this out, and that will make easier to slide back on on the uh, brake clubber. So I'm gonna hang my brake clubber right here. Take the axles out. Okay. 
Ya. Yeah. That is pretty bad. See so yeah, you can see hear the noise. Okay. And plus you can you can feel it. It's not smooth. So that means your battery's bad. Let's do it. So I'm going to put the axle back on. So I can smash the tie rod over there. Okay, now I'm there. Take out this pin and take out the 17 nut. There, so you can use a ball joint press or you can do hammer way. I like hammer way because they're much easier for me. A couple times. There. Three time. Don't hit the ball joint though. Just hit this right here. Just take this back out. Take the axles out again. So just take the three ball out. Time to smash this. The camera can see. Yes. So hit it. One. There. See that? It came out like that. So what you have to do, my way, I just cut it. I cut it right here. Okay. That means it's loose already. It got split already. This bearing has been working on before because they cut it right here twice. Okay. So yeah, they didn't do it carefully enough, so that's why they cut it right there. So I'm not sure this is good to reuse. Been cut it so many times. It's been cut one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. And I don't think I want to reuse this one right here. Okay, first, <clears throat> take the snap ring here out first. Um, if you don't have a snap ring too, you can use ply like this. And to take this out. There. So, when you put the... Uh, Bendo right there. You have to level up and make sure you put the correct side inside here, not too small. If you put too small, uh, you may not be able to push out because that it just slide into the bearing. clean make sure to clean inside here we're good okay before you're loading the bearing so this is bearing that both sides the same so it doesn't matter which side you put in it should be okay gonna find the uh, right correct side for this Okay, that is the right one. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to sit all the way. Okay. Get this sit all the way like that. Then time to put the uh, clip to that right here. sitting new ones about 20 bucks 22 dollar plus tag coming like 24 almost 25 dollars so pretty cheap what you have to do <coughs> find the one that sit on the middle like that okay so it will press again this right here not the outside but inside here so when you loading your spindle then they will come up evenly. You don't have to um, damage the bearing inside. Okay, and slowly press in. Okay, now sit right there. It should be enough. And you spin it. When you spin this right here, it shouldn't be too <clears throat> too loose. Then it's not good. Okay, too tight is not good. And you should, if if you do it right, it, it shouldn't feel too loose or too tight. You know. Okay. Just about the edge right here, and you are good to go. Let's load this one back up. Loading my axle first. Good. Put my rotor in. Okay. So there. back up and go test it right again
let's go test drive to see if sounds still the same you know I hope only one side is bad not on both sides so right now at 34 35 and sounds good okay 45 50 and the noise is it's gone so that means that bearing is bad okay so not the other side but that side that I changing it is the one the bad only so thank you for watching um, subscribe please if you want to check my other bearing like Honda Accord Honda Element and also the camera uh, Camry I have those in the Avalon they are the same basically if you do Honda and Toyota they should be doing the same as this Toyota Corolla right here okay thank you for watching bye bye now